Hi guys and ladies, welcome back to my channel once again and welcome to the enlarged Revel and York hangar with the majestic Starfarer sitting in the middle of it. Now we're going to have a look at the Starfarer but we're not going to do what you've seen in most other videos because uh, I'm going to leave that to a later date. I'm going to show you how to actually get on top of the Starfarer. Now all you need to do is to uh, get the buggy which we have here the grey cat buggy park it next to the um, edge here and you can't actually jump off normally you've got to have the buggy there to jump on and then you'll be able to jump off which we're gonna see in a minute and here we go now it does take a bit of practice you can easy miss and fall off but until the ship is flyable in the uh, mini PU around Crusader uh, this is the only way you'll be able to get on top of the staff era and uh, it does give you a sense of uh, scale how big everything is even the turrets now we'll have a look at some of the things you can see on top of the staff era and maybe just have a little bit of a look inside but uh, I'm going to save my more detailed inside look until the ship is flyable and until everything is working properly like the turrets so here we are up close to this awesome turret now this is a size 4 turret and uh, it's going to be really awesome uh, when we can get in there hopefully in 2.4 when the ship is supposed to be flyable but I don't think they'll probably have the uh, refueling mechanics working by then uh, that's probably going to be a little bit into the future so let's have a look down the rest of the ship to have a look at the uh, some more external features now as we move down we've got these windows which I think are above where the mess hall is you can't see really much in there but this is what it looks like from inside so the staff area comes equipped with all the best crew facilities with a nice table there reminds me of the one in Alien where John Hurt had the alien burst through his stomach could be a bit nasty that and certainly uh, the inside of the staff area is so large there's a uh, plenty of places where uh, things could hide and uh, catch you unaware I just can't get away from the fact how, how actually authentic this ship looks you know how, how it looks the steel is glistening in the lights of, of from the hangar now as we move down we can see uh, one of the three engines this one's the center engine here you can basically jump on everything on top uh, apart from that little sort of like uh, a towel section at the back which you can't reach now we can actually get on top of the middle engine here there we go just gives you a sense how large everything is so the Starfarer has three of these rather large and impressive engines. What's also impressive on the Starfarer is actually the uh, manoeuvring thrusters. And uh, if we look around here on top, you can just see the size of that thing. Absolutely ginormous when you compare it to uh, some of the other smaller ships in the game. Now moving along further this side of the Starfarer, uh, we can see another window and I believe that's where the crew quarters are this is a quick peek of uh, what it looks like inside so as we move through the uh, door to the crew quarters you'll see that there's a male and female toilets and as we move around there's uh, six beds here for the crew members now directly over the other side of the staff area is this window and this is where the captain's cabin is let's have a quick look inside so this is the captain's cabin it's fairly spacious or maybe we should also call it the captain's ready room like uh, Jean-Luc Picard had in uh, Star Trek indeed number one there's that window we was looking through and uh, here's the captain's uh, bed here with uh, a nice uh, space duvet and uh, the captain's uh, toilet and shower facility an interesting 
place to explore on the outside is around the front of the cockpit. Obviously we've got this size 4 weapons either side but there's a nice little ledge which you can actually walk along and uh, have a look into the cockpit. And of course this is what it looks like uh, inside. So as we uh, walk into the cockpit you can see it's fairly spacious. We've got a main uh, captain's chair there situated in the middle. You can't actually sit in that yet I believe. But uh, all the other seats, uh, you do get the use icons and you can sit in the uh, pilot and co-pilot seat there at the front and uh, also them two seats either side at the rear. That's really detailed, this cockpit. It's got uh, control panels um, up above as well and uh, everything is really nicely done. Also, from the outside ledge around the cockpit, you can jump down onto the size 4 weapons, so you can get a real up close and personal look at these awesome weapons. Well, that's uh, about it for my uh, on top tour of the Starfarer. A little bit of an alternative Starfarer video today, but uh, I'm sure I'll be having a closer look at this ship in the future. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, and uh, it would really help the channel a lot if you'd like to subscribe. So until next time, take care, bye for now, and happy landings.